Isuzu, in the attempt of cashing in on the uptrend SUV market, has launched the second generation MUX. Let's take a quick first look at the seven seat paper carrier. You might have noticed that the MUX looks strikingly similar to the D-MAX, but that's because it's built based upon the pickup truck. Unlike the D-MAX, the MUX benefits from a brand new grille and a brand new front bumper. Unfortunately, the headlights, they're not by Xenon, and you still have to make do with halogen projector headlights. This 4x4 trim gives you LED daytime running lights, whereas the 4x2 doesn't. You either get a 16-inch or 17-inch wheels, but here on the 4x4, you get the largest set of wheels. Completing the kit count on the 4x4 trim is a fancier exhaust tip. But do note that both the 4x2 and 4x4 variants don't come with keyless entry and push start button. We only get one engine in the MUX that is the same 2.5-litre four-cylinder turbo diesel source from the D-MAX. It makes 134 horsepower and a respectable 320 newton meters of torque made it to a 5-speed automatic transmission. Now, let's take a look inside. Now, the cabin certainly reminds me of the D-MAX, but what's different here is that it comes with this two-tone black and silver finish. You get a multifunction steering wheel, a rather basic instrument cluster, a nice touchscreen head unit, and automatic air conditioning. The leather seats do feel good, and you get six-way powered seats, but only for the driver's side. What's really nice about the MUX is that it comes with a ridiculously generous amount of storage spaces. And because this is the 4x4 trim, you get this electronic drive selector mode for all the fun outdoor family adventures. Another thing to like about the MUX is that it comes with this rear screen entertainment system for the rear passengers. The third row seats though, tell a slightly different tale. Because it can get a little bit cramped behind here. All that said, the MUX is priced from 152,000 to 165,000 ringgit. It comes with a 3-year or 100,000 km warranty program. So if you have a large family who loves outdoor activities, this might be one you wouldn't want to miss.